Hello everyone, I am Alka1993 and welcome to today's Vortex video. It'll just be a pretty quick one. Not too much will be happening because there is an announcement officially from Vortex. We have a new event coming up. And you might remember I totally missed the, um, the Valentine's event just because I didn't know about it. Uh, so again, I apologize for that. Those that depend on me to figure out events. Um, sorry, but there is a new event coming up on uh, f the 4th of May, as uh, has been the case for most years. Most recently, we're going to get a Star Wars event again. Now, what, have, what we've done in previous years with Star Wars events is there's been um, a Star Wars-themed Pokemon added to the game. Now, it was re revealed earlier this year by Patrick, the main developer um, of Pokemon Vortex, that there won't be any new Star Wars Pokemon, but we will get reruns of the old ones. Now, as it turns out, we're going to get all six of them. All six Star Wars Pokemon that exist. If you missed any of them, you have another chance to get them. Now, let's take a look at which ones they are. May the 4th be with you. Is that time of the year again for Star Wars cosplay Pokemon to make their appearance? This year, all six previous... All the previous six years Pokemon. I can English read. I, I can well English read good. Um, various locations. So they're all going to appear. And all are going to appear only on May 4th. And this is British... The, the standard time seems weird. Because that's not currently British time. So I'd have to check with that. What If the server... Because I know the server is on British time. But does the server also change the, to daylight saving time? If it doesn't, then this is correct. I say this because... the As a standard... It's... Just GMT is the time zone for Britain, which is also the server. But most locations in the world that do daylight savings are in daylight savings right now. So I'm normally GMT plus one. I'm now GMT plus two. Britain is now GMT plus one. The SD, the S is standard time. This is, we're not in standard time. This is like how East, EST, Eastern Standard Time for the US, isn't Eastern Standard Time right now. It's ET. It's Eastern Time. Because the Standard Time is without Daylight Savings. Anyway, back to Star Wars. I will check that and I'll put it... Um, I'll put it in the description or the pinned comments. Just look at that to make sure the exact time. Because this... An event is normally not based on local time. It's all it's based on British time. So I'll check for that. I'll put it in a pinned comment. Pikachu Jedi, the very first one, I believe. Or is Cuba? I feel like Cuba Vader was the first one. Anyway, Pikachu Jedi will appear on routes 10, 11, and 12 uh, in the grass during day and night. All of them appear during day and night. Um, but do note that a location might have water and grass. Or grass and cave. No, no, water and cave encounters. So pay attention exactly where. And there is a thing on the post on the forums that'll link in the description of this video you can check out to figure out okay where are the pokemon that i'm looking for cubone vader will be nightshade crypt and in the grass of route 21 psyduck jar jar everyone's favorite totally in the water of both route 24 and 25 voltor bb8 will only be in upper steel belt uh plants but it's on both floors so that technically is still two maps um, Scrafty Akbar on Route 9 and Route 16 in the grass, and I believe it's, it's both, especially Scrafty and Barbarical that I don't have much of, I'll check in a second. And the Barbarical Grievous will be in the Fungal Cavern, but that's all floors. <coughs> Isn't tied to me. Fungal Cavern has three different floors. So Barbarical Grievous is spread across three different floors. So every Pokemon has at least two different maps that it can be on. Um, so that is where you can find the Pokemon. Again, I'll put the time in the description. 
And it says here, more spawn locations may be added for certain Pokemon over the course of the events if we feel they're overcrowded, causing performance issues, no spawn locations will be removed. So you can be certain all of these locations will be the case, but maybe Volt or BB-8 will also start spawning on Route 1. Or um, the, Volt or, the Volt or BB-8 might be in... What if the Dragon Gym uh, City was? A Fortex Citadel? Don't remember. Now let's actually take a look at which of these Pokemon I have. Because some of them I'll have more of than others. Jedi, I just have my one Pikachu Jedi from the event. Vader, I think I have a few of. No, I have two. I remember using... Because uh, this is one trade. I remember getting a Dark Cube on Vader and I uh, used it for a little bit. Psyduck Jar Jar, I have a shiny one and a normal one. Then BB-8, I just have my standard Voltorb. Scrafty Akbar, I have a normal one and a shadow. And then Barbarical. I should go to just this one. And I, just, I do have a standard one for all of them, and some of them I might ha I have a variance like Dark or Shadow or Shiny. So there's still a lot for me to get. I expect to be participating in this event. Let's see, what day is it? Will that be? It's, uh, it's, uh, first is a Sunday. So that's Wednesday next week? I believe I, I have no plans for Wednesday. I know that's a complaint. Maybe plan around it. Because I do want to get a lot of these Pokemon. Otherwise, they'll, especially now that they've all become available, there will be a lot more on, uh, on Poke Bay and in trade and stuff that you can get. Which will be great. Uh, for people that want to complete their Pokedex, such as myself. I intend to do this event. Um, the good thing is, in a sense, because you might know that I upload... I upload uh, videos daily, and Pokemon Battle Revolution is my main one. I do that every second day. And then I fill the gaps with things like Yu-Gi-Oh! or Vlogs or Vortex or other things. And the 4th of May, the day of the event, is actually um, a non-Battle Revolution day. So what I'm thinking is, if I'm up early enough on that day, I'll just hunt for a good portion of that day, make that a video, upload it for that day, for May the 4th. And then obviously I'll hunt a bit later in the day as well. But that way I have that video live for that day. I think that'd be a good one. And then you can, like, if it, during the premiere you can like, hunt alongside me. Because the event will still be going on while the video premieres. What do you think of that idea? Also, they'll be spawning at legendary rarity rates. I totally forgot to mention that. So it's not a common or rare. It will be hard to find them. It will take some time. They're legendary rarity. Um, yeah, so I'll check on the time um, with Patrick or one of the developers. I'll let you know in the, um, in the pinned comment. And I wish you the very best of luck when we get to May the 4th. Almost a week away still. But this, this is an announcement ahead of time because we already know about it. I wish you the very best of luck finding the Star Wars event Pokemon. Uh, were you around for the event? Let me know in the comments if you were around for any of the previous events. Do you have at least one of all of these events like me? Or were you maybe not around for the side of Jar Jar event? Because you missed it because of, I don't know, a sports game you get to play. Or did you not have a Vortex account during the Pikachu and Cubone uh, days? Let me know in the comments. I'd appreciate that. And then I'll see you for the next video tomorrow. And for the Vortex video on May the 4th. Make sure you always remember that you are worth it. Goodbye.